Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We are here for more of that Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation, this being episode six. Man, does it feel good. Just, I don't think I've said this before, by the way, like ever uh, yet. Well, I'm saying it now because this is great to have this series alongside AOT on Sundays. It, it, is it not? Like I have AOT like earlier in the day. For me, it's like my main pr priority, honestly, for Sundays is, is AOT. But then I can you know, later into the evening, Sunday, I can sit down and watch this show, and it is not disappointed yet by any means necessary. This show has been fantastic through the first five episodes. Definitely an anime of the season contender to this point, I would say, for me. I don't know about y'all, but it has just been, like I said, it's been great. And previous episode, we saw, like, it was, like, a planned fake kidnapping, which partially, like, wasn't a fake kidnapping because we saw, like, we kind of outed the some of these scumbags, uh, obviously. We saw how it all unfolded. But also to see a little glimpse of Ghislaine's power, that was something that definitely stood out to me with the previous episode. They, they said she's like a sword king. She has like that title or whatever. So we probably only saw like, that was like probably a tiny glimpse of her actual like full power. So whenever we get to that point, that probably won't be for a while, but I'm actually really looking forward to that. But for now, it looks like now that Iris has accepted Rudy, it seems like like with the whole tutor thing, we're gonna see Rudy like teaching Iris magic and I guess some other things as well. So I'm excited as always to get into more of this series. We're gonna see what we have with this episode, guys. Here we go. There are many. Okay, so they're also after. It's not just Iris, the Gray Rat Bloodline too. So kind of have to keep that under wraps right now. But that's something we didn't really know before. I guess it makes sense though, like Philip standing, but then other gray rats too. Oh, who this? This? That's what I was thinking. I didn't want to say or assume. <laughs> oh, of course, of course, dude. Paul? Wait, Paul. Wait. <laughs> he said his paws son here. Did Paul? I don't even want to ask the question that y'all probably know I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask. Like, I don't even think I have to ask the question why she may not like Rudy. Now, there could be another reason, but with what we know about Paul, I'm just going to let y'all sit on that. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else. I thought he was going to keep walking. Just Paul has the worst rap, and rightfully so. Man, it's just one person walking in after another. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> he holds the pose like. <laughs> so really, Philip is just looking out for Rudy and to have his least as many eyes on him as possible. Man, he drinks like that. <laughs> that's how he be drinking. Well, that's what he's here for. I thought, right? Yeah, I see where she gets it from. I see where she gets it from, for sure. Although we haven't really saw like a Sundere side to him yet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? The cat shit. Why? I mean, it's cute, but they ain't right for me. They push, were pushing her to do that. She did not think of that herself. <laughs> Bro. As always, though, they transition, and I love how they always transition, like, with the OP. <laughs> Ghislaine, <laughs> fiending. Man, you got someone like Ghislaine teaching you? Teaching both of y'all? Like, ooh. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I love seeing her like this. I know she has, like, the whole Sundere thing going, but it's just cool to see her like this. Because it was not looking so good at the start. Even teaching Ghislaine math as well. <laughs> don't burn the play don't burn the place down now she's oh, those things are boring come on those things are boring dude <laughs> so it still has kind of been a problem but it seems like when it comes to more sort of like magic and that kind of stuff like she actually is attentive or wants to it's just with well, I, understandable i was just about to say rudy don't get any crazy ideas I, rudy come on rudy come on rudy rudy why why, Rudy? Stop, Rudy. Just leave. You need to leave. You need to leave, Rudy. Get out of here, man. <laughs> Hit him! <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that shit. Like, oh, his eyes. Oh, he deserves this. He deserves this and then some. Thank you, Eris. I, I get it. I get it. I mean, I'm not even, I can't really blame her. 
<laughs> See, when you tie in like these other kinds of things in with it, that's how you have to do it, though. <laughs> so ex Is this actually legit? I was gonna say like this. This is probably all like exaggerated. Ooh. They, they totally got her, though. She's like, now nah, I'll do it. Let's go. Oh, jeez, oh, damn. That, that's a th look at her still going, by the way. That's the thing, though, with, like, Rudy and, like, obviously with Magic, like, he totally outmatches Iris, you know? And that's why he's going to be, you know, he's teaching her. Or he's going to be teaching her more so as we go continue on. But with the Swordsman stuff, I feel like they're more of, like, an equal match. I mean... So it's going to be good, at least right now, for Iris to fight so, uh, against someone like him. But it, it's great seeing Ghislaine teaching both of them, kind of pushing both of them. Because you got someone like Ghislaine, a sword king, teaching you. Like, that. that's only going to bring about good things in terms of their your swordsmanship or just whatever it may be as they go forward. But right, right now, as it stands, like, Iris actually fighting Rudy kind of on more... Actually, she's kind of kicking his ass. I was going to say an equal playing field. But it's more like... In comparison to like the whole magic side of things, like obviously Rudy has her well beat right now, but I, I can I cannot wait to see Iris as she we'll probably see Rudy as well get stronger and get better with magic, maybe swordsmanship a little bit as well, mostly magic I'd say. But Iris, if she keeps if she keeps going on this path like this, she gonna be dangerous. That's what I was saying. Like Rudy has his magic, and I guess she's been learning it longer than him, so I guess it makes sense. They're not on maybe exact equal playing field when it comes to that but if the same thing could go for rudy if he gets really good with his swordsmanship how scary is he gonna be i think he's done like <laughs> she's like i want to go some more <laughs> man rudy's going at it making the sculptures and stuff he made that one of like roxy right and he's it seems like he has some more over there on the table that's work that's work for you yeah, so he's made like almost the whole fam in this Roxy Sylphie. Five years, yeah, you almost forgot about that. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> didn't last long. <laughs> she she has no time off. <laughs> yeah, that is important. Taking a break, having time off. She's literally like a volcano though, like about like about when when a volcano is about to erupt, and then when it does, it's like that's literally her. Aw, I like to get up. Cute, very cute. <laughs> she slapped him. I mean, you deserve to get slapped. You were having dirty thoughts right there, too. Like, we saw you. They're like, what is he doing? <laughs> oh, this is nice. Just to have a day off. What is this? Wait, we got to keep it on the down low or something? Why you Why you trying to sell this to a kid? Why are you trying to... What, what, what are you doing? The perfect present for your daddy. That, But still, why would you introduce this or show this to a kid? I don't care who it's for. He's just maybe trying to push himself to the to the nobles and all that try to get his shop out there maybe i don't know there you go math <laughs> Ghislaine's getting it Ghislaine's getting it Dekita. oh man if he actually gets this this is gonna be something that's all i can say <laughs> oh wow that really puts into perspective though yeah like all like the, you know the books and what they had back at their at the house like how much that probably cost them like damn galane had the yeah galane's role like and she's been here longer so it makes sense she's earning more than rudy and rudy's just starting out at this oh there we go that means you're gonna have to work for it though that means you're gonna have to actually do some shit Oh shit! Like a floating fortress? <laughs> Flying fortress. The armored dragon king. Oh shit! Yo, that's dope. That's actually dope. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, have we ever saw that before? Or heard that before? I didn't think so. You're 414. Okay, so we, we never really knew about that either. Like the calendar system. That So that's something new. Even L Rudy's learning some. We're learning some. Oh, hell yeah. Like, we gotta go there. What if there's just nobody there? What if it's just been flying around or some shit? Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Eris. It wasn't even Rudy that got it. It was Eris. Bro, no. They don't know what it is. Please go dispose of it. But then she'll be like, why'd you get rid of it? Or if she found out, that would be bad. He has to avoid it, bro. <laughs> like... Oh, no. No, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> right, I bet. <laughs> he never spilled the beans or like what? He, I was I was gonna say, like, I don't know. I guess they still could do something with that, but it doesn't look like it. But I was just saying from, from that, like, this could potentially be really bad. <laughs> Cause I I already know people be complaining about how Rudy is like with the fan service and all that or like, not even the fan service but it, some of his perverted remarks and things that he does. I mean we saw a little bit of it in this episode, you know. But like, if they kept going with that, if if that turned out how a lot of other shows would make that turn out to be, and I guess we could still see it in the future. I don't want to totally rule it out, but it, it, it yeah it would have been something. So it looks like maybe we we avoided that. At least right now, that's how it seems. But this episode, again, man, I, I really appreciate what the series has, is doing with the world building even in this episode a lot. Some of the things even Rudy learned, but obviously Rudy uh, teaching Eris, teaching Ghislaine even as well, like Ghislaine's learning. If what Ghislaine was actually talking about in this episode about her, we did get some with her as well. If that story wasn't just, it, it might have been legit, but some of it might have been exaggerated, you know, to get Iris on board with like learning math and all that, which, you know, some of those things are important, but it's not like the, the be all end all, you know, like math, reading, obviously you need some of those things for certain situations, but not like all the time, right? But it, it is necessary to learn, especially someone like Iris and just her standing and where she's at and in the future, it's going to be important for her to have that as well as like the swordsmanship we're seeing um, more of, her, you know, her get better with that, which seems like she's better off with, you know, in terms of the swordsmanship compared to Rudy, at least as it stands right now. But magic, obviously, totally different story. She still has to kind of get better with that. Just get better as a whole. And that even goes for Rudy, of course, as well as we go forward. But uh, it's nice to see the this dynamic here with the three of them, Ghislaine, Iris, Rudy and Iris starting to open up more as we see, although she is kind of a problem at, at some points. She's, she's younger. It, it does make sense, right, in, in that rebellious phase and all of that. So I'm not even really surprised, but, uh, you know, they put some focus on just having a day off and how important that, that can be, right, in, in changing someone's mindset and making them more attentive and making them want to do things more. It goes a long way, really, just having, like, one day off. Like, instead of working every single day of the week, maybe seven days a week, you have that one Sunday off or whatever the case may be. That could do a lot for you. It, it really could. It's just a nice refresh, reset of, of the mind and the body or whatever the case may be. So, uh, I like how they put focus on that. I mean, they, they showed that, like, sky fortress, like, the armored dragon shit or whatever that was. Like, that sounds really cool to me. That's something I'm honestly interested in going into the future. Are there, like, actually people up there? What if it's just a flying fortress? There's nobody on it. It brings up some questions. I would assume there's probably people on it or whatever, but that's kind of a mystery. There is, I guess, a little a mysterious vibe to it uh, almost because of how much time. It said, what, 400 years or something like that? So that's kind of crazy. So, yeah, besides that, Rudy just being Rudy in some scenes too where – I mean, he did get his ass beat a little bit. He got his ass beat for sure a uh, couple times in this episode, actually. So he did get kind of what he deserved, but still Rudy going to be Rudy in some points. And I think as it goes forward, he is going to get, as he gets older and like in this world, obviously he still has that mindset of how he was in the old world. But he said, he has said numerous times before that he wants to change. So I'm hoping as we go through with the series and go forward, he gets better with that you know, but we'll see. We'll see. Either way, this is another really good episode. I really liked what we had here. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.